About 50 million years ago, the Earth was evolving to provide a hospitable environment for life to exist. During this period, the Indian and Eurasian plate collided only to form the ever-rising Himalayas that we see today. For mankind to make space on this planet, it took years of evolution of plants and species, then first emerged what we now know as Indus Valley Civilization. The emergence of Indus Valley Civilization was the markup of the beginning of recorded human history. As civilization grew, people started developing agriculture, social norms and a society overall. It is here, about 10,000 years ago, that we first recorded the site of Pem. The use and cultivation of this crop have been 10,000 years old making it one of the first and oldest known human agriculture crops. It may have been used for oil, textiles, ropes and many other purposes. The initial records of hemp were in the form of fibre spun into cord. With time passing, the plant was soon everywhere. In about 1200 to 1000 BC, hemp appeared in the Hindu sacred text like the Charak Samhita, Sushrut Samhita and the Shargandhara Samhita as Bhang, the sacred grass. It was also mentioned in the Atharva Ved, which is known as the script of magical formulas. There, Bhang was mentioned multiple times to be used medicinally for healing pains. Hemp has also been repeatedly visible in the worship culture of Hindus, being ritually offered to Adi Yogi Shiva, and thus has also been a part of Yoga and Ayurveda. Due to a strong textual and verbal presence, hemp became a part of multiple cultures surrounding the Himalayas. As people started to move from places to places, culture travelled along. Hence, the world started to cultivate hemp. But it was only till King Henry VIII of Britain that in 1533, fines were imposed on farmers if they did not raise hemp for industrial use. The cultivation was becoming more intentional than natural. The British also started cultivating hemp at their colonies such as in Port Royal, Virginia, India and many. Also, during this period, smoking hashish became popular in all the regions it was being cultivated. In 1914, the Harrison Act was issued in the US that defined the use of marijuana as a crime. So followed many nations of Europe, Russia and Asia. In 1937, US Congress passed the Marijuana Tax Act, which criminalized the drug. Now, the supply of hashish from China was decreasing. Greek hashish smoking tradition almost faded officially began the U.S. international war on drugs. Many opposed the ban on cannabis and were in favour of its medicinal use, which led to years and years of struggle that is marked in the history of Canada. Finally, in 2001, it became the first country ever to legalise the use of medicinal marijuana nationwide, weakening the perception of people on cannabis as an intoxicant. Further, in 2009, Significant steps were taken by President Barack Obama towards legalizing the use of medicinal marijuana in the US. A lot was happening in the world concerning hemp. But what was happening in India then? It was one of the five sacred plants of India, so the cultivation and usage of cannabis continued, along with some regulations and restrictions during the British Raj. It is still continued in the privacy of homes in areas like Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand. Despite that, the openness about the use of the plant is something that is hushed upon. The plant has always been worshipped in this country. It is a native crop and a living to many. So to embrace our roots, Uttarakhand government took significant step towards making it the first state in the country to allow commercial cultivation of hemp in 2016. The step widened the scope of research and the use of medicinal hemp towards benefiting masses. Just think about it. Hemp is extremely healthy. It has vitamin E, D, calcium, iron, zinc, potassium, magnesium and many more. Also, hemp is one of the most efficient ecological and economical crop as well as it is a zero-waste plant and requires up to 40% less land than any other major crops. 
This brings us to an important conclusion that hemp can be the plant for the future. It can be a savior of mankind. It can practically help us recreate the balance in our ecosystem and is the solution to serious environmental issues and many new age diseases like insomnia, depression, PTSD. It is not only mentioned in the scholarly books of France, our Vedas and Puranas, but has also been a part of our mythology and folklore forever. There is more to this miracle plant than researchers can ever find. Its story goes beyond the measures of time and acceptance. Let's embrace the ancient modern. Let's together take a step to rethink.